This is the first of three tension example problems in your notes. Um, so follow along with the notes, try to solve them, and then there'll be some additional problems like these for you to solve on your own. So in this problem, we have a tightrope walker, and he's standing on a rope. And the problem asks us what the tension on the rope is, and the information they give us is that the tightrope walker has a mass of 70 kilograms. And so there's a few assumptions we need to make when we're doing problems like this. And the first major, major, major assumption is that the tightrope walker is a point, a single point, that is in, according to Newton's first law, translational equilibrium. Okay, so that's really, really important. And so what are the consequences of being in translational equilibrium? Well, if you'll remember from the class, it means that all the vectors that are acting on this one point that we're considering as the tightrope walker add to zero. And additionally, because all the vectors add to zero, all the vector components also add to zero. Okay, so that's the first things we need to think about um, as we get ready to do the problem. Okay, so we're going to get started, as we should with all force problems, by drawing a free body diagram for this problem. So we know that we have a tightrope walker that we're going to represent as a point. We also know that the tightrope walker has some weight, which is pulling down, W. And we know that the tightrope walker is exerting force on this rope and we're going to think about the tension on the rope as two tensions, a rope going into the point and a rope going out of the point. So I'm going to call this tension tension left, and I'm going to call this tension tension right. Okay? And we know that if we, these two, the rope makes a five degree angle with the horizontal. Okay? So first off, we don't know tension left and we don't know tension right, but we do know that the, the tightrope walker has a mass of 70 kilograms, and from that mass we can easily find the weight of our tightrope walker, because we know that mass is equal to, or weight is equal to mass times the acceleration of the gravity. So we know that the mass of, of our tightrope walker is 70 kilograms, and we know that the acceleration of gravity is, of course, 9.81 meters per second squared. And so we see that the weight of our tightrope walker is negative 686 newtons in this problem. All right, so now to move on and find the tension on the rope. So if you remember before, we said that the tension, or that we were assuming that this point that represents our tightrope walker is in translational equilibrium, um, meaning that if I add together all the forces acting on this point, they should add to zero. And as a consequence of that, if I add together all of the vector components in the y direction, they should also equal zero. So that's what we're going to do here. So we know that the force in the y direction is equal to three things. It's equal to the weight. It's equal to, if we draw the vector components for my tensions, so this would be the tension in the y direction for the left, and it also has an x component, tension x for the left, and my y tension also has the same breakdown, so I have a tension right in pointing up in the y direction, and I have a tension, tension x to the right, um, pointing to the right. Okay, 
So I know that my tension and all the forces in the y direction should equal the weight plus the tension component for the left in the y direction plus the tension component for the right in the y direction. Okay, and I know because that these are in translational equilibrium, I know that this Fy, the force in the y direction, is equal to mass times acceleration according to Newton's second law, and I know that acceleration is zero in this case, so I know this whole term should drop out to zero, and so I know that all of these components add to zero. Okay, and so I do a little algebra, and so I know that my negative t weight is equal to my two tensions added together. I'm going to make an assumption here. I'm going to assume that the tightrope walker is in the center of the rope, meaning that the tension um, is equal going left as it is to the tension going to the right. And so I can simplify this a little bit further and say that 2ty is equal to 2tl. And I can do that because I'm saying that ty left is equal to ty to the right. Okay, so the two components should be equal, and so we're assuming that the tightrope walker is in the middle. And so I've simplified it to this. I'm almost to the point where I can start to solve this problem. I've almost got tension y alone, and so I know that weight divided by 2 is equal to ty to the left. All right. Okay, so I have a tension in the y. I know my weight, um, but I want to solve for the tension. I don't want to just solve for the tension component, and so I see that because I know this angle, I know that this is 5 degrees. I know this. This is 85 degrees. Okay, as is it is over here. And so I can solve for the actual tension from my tension component because I know that tension, which is the tension of the rope going to the left, is equal to opposite or adjacent over the hypotenuse, so it should be equal to tension times the sine of 85 degrees. And so I can substitute, I can substitute this into that, give myself a little more room, I can substitute this into that, and I find that my negative weight is equal to 2, is equal to tension, sine 85 degrees. Okay, a little bit more algebra, 2 sine 85 degrees is equal to our tension in the rope. And that's the tension in the rope on the left, um, and we're assuming that's the same as the tension as the rope on the right. And so our weight of our tightrope walker was negative 686 newtons. And so our tightrope walker was negative 686 newtons. And so that's going to become positive because we have a negative of a negative times divided by the sine of 85 degrees. And I get a number that is quite large, 3,935 newtons. Wow. And that's just the tension on the left. So we have the tension on the right should be the same. According to the assumption, we make that the tightrope walker is in the very center of the rope. 3,935 newtons. So by working through this problem, we saw that the tension pulling to the left on the rope is 3,935 newtons, and the tension pulling to the right on the rope was also 3,935 newtons. And this is much, much, much greater than the, the amount of weight of the tightrope walker. And I want you to think about why this is. Um, so the reason why this is so high is because when you think about it, let's go back to our force diagram. So let's redraw that. And so we have 
few vectors. So we have the weight pulling straight down. We have the tension of the rope to the right. And we have the tension of the rope to the left. Okay. And so the tension of the rope to the right and the tension of the rope to the left are much, much greater than the weight. Um, but only, this is really important to think about when thinking about these tension problems, only the tension component component in the y direction supports the weight. Right? So you can pull all you want in the x direction and you won't be able to lift the weight. But the tension component in the y direction supports the weight. So if we draw out the tension components on this diagram, maybe a little different than we, did, than we did before. So I have a tension component that's equal to the weights. This is not to scale. Don't judge me on my tension, my vector lengths and magnitudes. My weight is equal to my tension that's pointing up. And remember this was T left in the y direction and T right in the y direction, pointing up. And in the x direction, there's also, well, there's also vector components. T left in the x direction and T right in the x direction. So only the vector component that's pointing up against the weight has to be equal to the weight. But there's additional tension on the rope from the two sides of the rope pulling on each other, the T left X and the T Y um, and the T right X. And so there's more tension on the rope than there is actually um, weight pulling on the rope. So that's kind of interesting, something to keep in mind.